What is up guys, this is your boy DJ Stash here again on the review in today's episode. I'm reviewing the the uh, William Wolf Apple Whiskey Infused or yeah, it's just it just says William Wolf Apple. It's William Wolf Apple Whiskey. Uh, it's the uh, another part of that uh when I reviewed uh, this one. It's on the uh, the three dollar uh, Christmas grab bag at specs. Uh, there's like another one that's like kind of different. It's like a flamethrower or whatever. I'm like that's like a it's like that one in like a cinema one I need to get to, but this is uh, the second one. The second edition out of that uh, three dollar grab bag that I'm gonna review. I got like two different uh, I got like two different uh, three dollar grab bags, and like two of those were like the uh, Jim Bean Devil's Cut. So I already drank two of those because like I didn't think to do a review for those because they've already been out for a while, and they're not like really you know out there for to do. But yeah, it says it's a whiskey infused with apple and other natural flavors. It's a 30 35% alcohol by volume, 50 milliliters, 70 proof. Uh, don't know where this is from. It doesn't say it's exactly where it's from, like the other one. It says it's from Canada. Oh, okay. It says, uh, I just found it out. It says, uh, produced and bottled by Wolf Distilleries, North Charleston, South. It says SC, so I'm thinking it's South Carolina, I believe, or South Connecticut. No, I don't think it's Connecticut. I think it's South Carolina. Yeah. Definitely United States for sure. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Their company is Wolf Distillers, so that's pretty legit. But yeah, guys, I did another review. I'm gonna just take a little sip out of this and then uh, mix it and see how it is. I do like apple whiskeys, so my dad's a fan of ap apple whiskeys as well. All right, let's smell. Okay, smells like a green apple. <clears throat> It's not too overpowering like the uh, like this one. All right, guys. William Wolf Apple. Cheers. <laughs> uh. Hey, doing shots. <laughs> I mean, you only taste the alcohol flavor. Yeah, they're both. Yeah, you know, I was saying, I was saying, like, they're both like five percent alcohol by volume. All right. Put in the stash glass. Okay. I mean, it's really good. It's still apple flavor, but let's see how this one looks. Right. Oh, yeah. Way better. Yeah, it's, it's definitely like green apple. Even though it's kind of like a... Uh, you know, red bridger on it. It's definitely more of a green apple than anything. Like a sweet green apple. I mean, it's good, but it's a shot itself. You know, I can't do any shots, but that makes us like I've like I noticed, like I said with a Canadian whiskey, like nope, get back over here. Uh, I said with like non-flavored whiskeys, but like I I figure with uh, maple and apple with this uh, lemon lime product, it's kind of the best to mix it with. In my opinion, it's gonna sip. Yeah, cause you just straight taste the apple juice. It's like apple juice, green. It's the green apple juice. It's really good. Uh, it's better, better than that mixed well with the other Canadian. I'll give this a four out of five. It's uh, really, really flavorful. I like the logo on that too. This is Wolf just chilling on the chair. I mean, I didn't see a bigger bottle of this. Yeah, uh, because I always even in specs, I always look at all the whiskeys to see what what new things they got. You know, like I got the Conor McGregor Proper Twelve. Even though I was looking at that for anyway, but I always browse throughout all the whiskey sections. And then they, like specs, they have like like one little section of two rows of like just little little bottles, and then they had you know, like a little goodie bag of like whiskeys, and then they had another goodie bag of like uh, rum and gin, I believe. But I didn't get those. I just got the whiskey bag. Yeah, come on, man. I'm gonna. Because I bought a big bottle, but I'm going to use that for, like, eggnog. That's what I usually do, like, the holidays, just make some whiskey and eggnog. But, yeah, guys, I give it a 4 out of 5. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this review, please give us a, a like, share, and subscribe. And if, <clears throat> yeah, if you should like this video, please give us a like, share, and subscribe. And uh, be sure to turn on that. <laughs> Man, I'm kind of I'm kind of faded right now. <laughs> be sure. <laughs> Be sure to turn on, uh, 
turn on that notification bell to stay tuned to all my future videos. And until next time, guys, this is your boy, DJ Stats, Sam. Peace.